All right, I'm going to start from a distance. Right here is a seven trade tackle box. I've used it as my way of displaying uh, the arrowheads, uh, lance points, projectile points that I found. Uh, I wanted to start to share how I did that because I never saw anybody else do it. I wanted to find the best way to, to keep them safe and to keep a place where I could keep all my prize points or, or you know, your favorites and, and the best points you have, the full points and full pieces, uh, and then have a way to illustrate them uh, to others, especially, you know, thinking of my three sons or what have you, or friends or family comes over and, you know, relatives. And many of my relatives, they have no idea that I collect the artifacts that I do. And maybe you have friends that are the same. And I wanted to find, and I'm going to illustrate some of these compartments. It's just very difficult. You can see some of them have 30 points and they're good points. I mean, if I just went over to one just like this where I keep my, my little ones, there's so many points in bins like these. And they're all categorized for different reasons. You see some with triangles and what have you. Serrated quartz, crystal, stuff like that. I have a whole long drawer here, which I really love, of Guilford's and what have you. But today was a good day just to, to give a perspective as I pan out of how I do this. The, another reason why I did that is I thought about the frame. I thought about doing glass frames, you know, like everybody sees and what have you and putting them up in there. But I realized that as soon as I do that, the, the, the arrowheads and projectile points, all of this stuff, for example, look at this atlatl weight. Unbelievable. All of this stuff and to be able to pick it up and feel the weight, that's part of the beauty of it. But as soon as you put it in a frame or, or I put it under glass, part of the charm, part of the beauty of being able to find a piece that's unique to be able to tell how it was made and wonder about it and, and learn from it is over and it can never be touched again. But that's a nice piece, one of my prize pieces. I found another couple broken pieces of Atlata weights, but that's probably the best one that I've found so far. Hopefully more. But uh, anyway, uh, I decided to illustrate the box this way. This video will be longer than most of mine. But many of you have shared that the other videos are too short, so this will be fine. I decided that I would try to create a display in this that, uh, you know, somebody could come and if they want to check your stuff out, they could actually reach down and they'd be able to feel and check out a point, the reason you have a point or what have you. And uh, in doing that, there's a charm to it. It's almost the same as if when we find it and pick it up or, or check it out to be an awesome piece. Now, even in, in the below chambers, I keep different things, such as scrapers. I'll illustrate these later, too. Uh, different types of points, the bigger quartz points, what have you. And since the lighting's good on this and keeps up with it, I've got points all along the back edge inside. And I'm going to uh, probably illustrate today one of the compartments that are my favorite drawers and do some of that when it's slow out there collecting. Uh, some of the bigger stuff. And I just tuck it in there. This box is reserved for all my favorites, but it's a box where it, can, it also can be tangible to loved ones, family, and etc. Uh, for me, it just worked out to be a, you know, a, a better situation uh, to share the collection and to have it a place that's organized uh, and that I can control, if you will. To me, under glass, um, it keeps them safe, but to me, they become a little less tangible. And I wanted them to be tangible. I wanted the ancient life that's been here before us, at least here, uh, all the way across the country, I see everybody's, to be that way. And then another drawer down here, which is really cool. I call it sugar quartz. Uh, it's a granulated type of quartz. But there's some great pieces in there, and it goes all the way back. All the points, as I said, in this box are full and complete, which is really cool. I have variety points in this smaller drawer across the bottom. Anyway, so the video is not too long. To give you a tour, just an opening tour of how it works, and then I can illustrate things. I thought I would go up to uh, the top trays, which I keep... Uh, I guess you could say most favorite. I hate using most favorite because I just have so many reasons why I, I like many of the points. 
and in a box where all the points are full and complete points, it's hard to say, you know, this is most favorite. They're all expressions of an individual's personality, you know? Anyway, I want to quickly now show you one of the compartments. I think I'll just start with this one. No, there's some nice arrowheads in there. And just show you what one compartment can hold. I'll go over here. This compartment here has a variety of different types of points, but they're just some of my favorites. And I just want to show you how many points that a compartment can hold. One of my favorite points. And for various reasons, you know, uh, lots of people say, well, what reason is a point your favorite or what have you? There are various reasons why points get to be favorites. Maybe it's a, a way or a certain condition in when you found them or what have you. This point here was one of the earlier points that I've ever found, but it was a definite awesome point. Just right here, it's ground on a bevel. This one was not on camera. I never thought to even record it. Uh, when I was first just finding points, that's a favorite. Goes in that compartment. Still in the same little drawer. That's why I, I have tended to like this kind of setup. Because it holds a lot, if anybody's interested. And it keeps them organized, and it can keep them safe. Anyway, this is another favorite point. You can say that again and again, right? Just a great find. That came from a place that I have posted that I call Saponi. This came from uh, Opening Sands, another place that I like. What a great point that is. I don't think I have that on film. Sometimes it's too cold or it's raining and your hands are freezing off and you just can't make the video. Anyway. Another point here, and the one above it is like its brother. But I, I, even though the material is a little rough, they're just really beautiful pieces. And I wanted people, just the same as I'm doing, to be able to feel uh, the weight and uh, how the point might have been made. This is a really neat point. Full and complete. And it's so funny, if you collect points, the, the different reasons why points become your favorite. I've always liked this one. I find this in Mecca. Just a favorite style. Just love it. So you can see, still in one box, in one compartment here, just this one compartment. And I want to try to make this shorter than nine minutes because uh, I don't know. I just for some some reason I don't I don't like to belabor people with a longer video or what have you. I really always love this point. This is interesting. Got a little hump there, but no problem at all. It's pretty cool. And of course, as you all know, these points look tremendously different if they're wet. Brings out the contrast of their, their color. Another point I literally found in my backyard. Well, 150 yards off my backyard in the farm field here. Love it though. There's just a lot of reasons why I like it. Put it up in my favorites box. Then a classic shape here for the last one. It's not broken, it's just a little different color rock on it. Anyway, enough for today. That gives you an idea right there. Looking at the points. How many can fit? Look at those. All fit in one nice compartment, such as this. And I used a, a cabinet covering a rubber um, you know, where we, you put in cabinets to protect dishes and stuff, cut that out, fit it in there, it works good. But you can see all the other compartments, and I'll show you a couple as we go, um, and, and make another video on it, because some of these compartments are significant. Like, this is a G10 compartment, and these are another favorite compartments, and there's just a whole bunch of them. And the Guilfords is just incredible. There's some great Guilfords around here. Anyway, keep it short of 10 minutes, and, uh, Hopefully that'll give some people some ideas for their own box. As we roll on 10 minutes and keep it to that, to just give you a quick look of these.
nice though. Just favorites, that's all. You know, when you have your own personal favorites and you remember the finds exactly where they were, I could probably go to the spot on the ground that these were. Some good stuff, though. And that's one compartment in the box. Which makes, to me, a great, great way to keep them. Great way to display them. And that's that. Thanks for watching.